spring is rotated to the left. The other thing of note is that the medial end of her right clavicle is higher than the left. <laughs> <laughs> Chip, one way or the other, there we go. Okay. So, sweater problem, right? yeah. Second ring. Yeah. Second ring rotated to the left. <laughs> Medial end of the clavicle is up. So what happens in this situation is as the manubrium rotates to the left, it side bends to the left. So this side bending to the left is pushing the medial end of her clavicle up and the lateral end of the clavicle will go down. So if we look at the relationship between the medial and lateral end of the clavicle on her right <coughs> compared to her left, you can see there's slight elevation on the left side and it's more horizontal on the right. That is because of this side bending of the manubrium. Maybe. We haven't found the driver yet. If, if that hypothesis is true, if I correct the second ring, then the whole alignment of the sternoclavicular joint and the medial and lateral end of the clavicle will change. So if I now let this go, up goes the medial end, down goes the lateral end. Okay? Can you <coughs> correct the second ring? Let's do it from here and here. So I'm now I'm doing a correction on, on one side, on the right side. Let the correction go. And there goes the medial end of her clavicle high. Okay? Now, this may not be her driver for her meaningful task, but whatever is perturbing the second ring is having an impact on the medial end of that sternoclavicular joint. So arthrokinematically, just slowly elevate your right shoulder girdle for me now. It goes down a little bit, but there's no anterior rotation. And back down. Correct the second ring. Hold the correction. Look at her head. We're not there yet, right? Her head's side bent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All over. Yeah? It's fine. You all right? Mm -hmm. And now elevate. OK, now the clavicle is anteriorly rotating. So the second ring is the driver for her clavicle, but it's not the driver for the whole thing because we're making her head and neck worse. This is the influence of the second ring and the manubrium on the sternoclavicular joint, which ultimately impacts rotation of the clavicle, which has a huge impact on deep and superficial fascia in the neck. Okay? Cool. Thanks, Holly. Thank you. So